Hello guys, it's Ben Manuel once again. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to connect to your database using PHP MySQLite. Uh, first of all, uh, you can see I have my working directory open already. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new folder. So you can just hit this to create a new folder or come to the terminal here or just if you don't have this open already, you can just hit terminal here, create a new terminal or use the shortcut key you have here on the screen. So here I'm going to create a a new folder where I'm going to keep my connection and maybe even keep configurations files in the future. Uh, so here um, I'm going to create a directory. So we're going to be using a command. Now you can see here on the screen that it created a a new a new folder for me here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create a file. So I'm going to press Ctrl N my keyboard to create a new file, and then Ctrl S to save the file. So navigate into the groups folder and then name your file. So connection.php. And now we have a connection file. So I, I can just close this or leave this um, um, update program instead. So this should help me display um, the problems we're going to be having in our code as we write our code. So I'm going to start with um, starting PHP here and then um keeping my database credentials here in this file so database uh, my database credentials are going to be here uh, and this should be constant so i'm going to be using uh, the def keyword here to define the constants so this is going to be my database um, uh, what should this be so this should be a database host let's start with the database host uh, so, this is my local host. I'm just going to press Ctrl C on the keyboard and then Ctrl V to duplicate that and then change uh, the values we are having here. So this is going to be my database user. So whatever user you are having, you're just going to use the user. And I'm not going to advise you to use the root user because um, it's not safe to use the root user. So create a user and then use that user. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to tell you here is that you shouldn't always leave your passwords empty. So passwords shouldn't be empty. It's required that you have a password for security reasons. So I'm going to include my password. All right, I'm going to duplicate this again. And this, the next constant we have in here should be the name of our database. So the name of the database we are trying to access. So I don't have a database yet, so I'm going to create my database later. So this should be um, PHP underscore toots. Uh, that should be my database. Uh, and so that's all for now. Now the next thing you do here is create a try catch block here. That should help us handle exception, exceptions when we have them in our code. And um, so the first thing I'm going to be doing here is enabling uh, error reporting here and I'm going to enable SQL error reporting. So this is going to help us a lot. So when we have problems in our SQL statements, it's going to tell us what the problem is and we are going to be able to solve the problem with ease because we already know where the problem is. Sorry. SQL error reports and then parentheses uh, my SQLI underscore report. report error my SQLI underscore report strict. So this should help us solve the problem. Now, the next thing I'm going to do down here is establish the database connection. <laughs> so I'm going to establish the database connection here. So I'm going to be using my SQLI. I'll create a connection variable. I'll create a variable here. So this should be a new uh, SQL new my SQL
in MySQLi. And then in the parentheses here, we're gonna fit these with all of the information we just created though here. So we're gonna be fitting it with all of those information. So you can see if I hover on this, you can see that uh, this it needs the, the name of our host, it needs the, the user that we're gonna be using to connect to the database, and it needs the password for that user as account, and then the database name, the pods and sockets, and so on. So I'm gonna end this and then go in into the parentheses and start giving it the information in it. So it starts with the database host. So I'm going to give you my database host. So that's what the database host is. So uh, the user comes next. Then uh, what comes next? Uh, the password should come next. So db underscore uh, db instead of db. db underscore password. And let's hold on this to see what next. Uh, so it's the host name, the user name, the password, and then the database we want to connect to. So this should be db underscore and name. And we are good. Um, now, actually, I'm going to do in the next line here is to set the character set, this is um, very, very important to set the character set you can be working with. So set um, char set. So I'm just going to call it char char set. So I'm going to be setting it to UTF-8. Uh, so my connection variable sets char set so this is a method here so i'm going to call it method and i'm going to be giving the method the information it needs so the character set so this is utf8 and i'm going to end my statement here now here we would like to display an exception if there is a problem in our sql syntax we would like to display that error message on the screen so that's exactly why i have the the try catch block here to help me handle all of these problems. So here I would I would like to show an in my SQL. So I would like to show in my SQL SQL exception, and I'm gonna change this variable to e, which is much specific exception, and that's all I'm gonna do here. And I'll show the error. So. We have the, the true keyword, true new exception. So what kind of exception do we want to show? We want to show in true SQLI SQL exception. And then this here, we're going to be getting our errors from the, the variable we created both. So the, the, the variable is going to contain all information we need um, about um, the exceptions that we're going to be having. So here, uh, I'm going to get I'm gonna get the message. I want the, I want the error message, and on this line, uh, I want the code of that particular error to display here. So I'm gonna get the code here, and this should solve the problem we're having here. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is test this. Let's test it to see if it really works fine or it doesn't. So uh, I'm gonna create a new file here on. I'm going to save this file, uh, not in the lead folder, but in the working directory. And I'm going to call it index.php uh, because we're going to be working with PHP. Uh, I'm going to save this here. So you can see we have the, the file here. And uh, I'm going to press um, shift. Um, I'm, I'm going to press shift and then one of my keyboard to open this up and then hit enter. This should um, write the basic syntax of HTML on, on the screen for me, as you can see here now. Now, I'm going to change the title here to PHP uh, Toots or learning how to connect. Learning how to connect to a database. Now, let's be more specific to Maria database. So, learning how to connect to Maria database in PHP using uh, my SQLI. 
and we are good. So at the top of my script here, I'm just going to start PHP here, and I'm going to end PHP here because I have um, HTML down here already. And the next thing I'm going to do here is include our database file, so we should be able to use our database um, file on this um, on this file in the index file here in our application. So here I'm going to be using the require keyboard. So require uh, space. So require is another function, so I don't need the parentheses at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell it what I want it to require. So the easy way to do this if you uh, is just to come here, right click, copy related parts, and then paste the related parts here. So you should already know what this means. So this means go into the libs folder and then get to the connection of PHP file for me because I'm going to need it here in this file. Uh, if you do this, then you are good. So. Uh, with this now, I am um, gonna try to assess the the file. So I'm gonna try to assess the file. So I'm gonna open uh, in, in, in my browser and then I'm gonna try to assess it. So localhost slash php dash to on my uh, sorry <laughs> localhost slash php dash to all right, so you can now see that we are having an exception here on the screen. You can see that it says unexpected and MySQLi exception or known database PHP toot. That's because I told you initially that I didn't create any database for this and I'm trying to assess a database that hasn't been created already. So the next thing I'm going to do here is create a new tab here and then assess PHP my admin here. Now I'm going to assess PHP my admin here because I want to connect to a database and I'm going to be creating that database in PHP my admin so I can connect to it. Now if I connect to the database successfully, we shouldn't be getting any error message on the screen at all. And if we don't get an error, an error message on the screen, then we are good. So the next thing I'm going to do here is um, type directory to the con and on the console here. So if you're already used to using um, um, PHP mod, then you can do create a database the regular way. But I'm just going to use uh, the create keyword here. So create database because I found it much easier. So the database is going to be called PHP toots. And then hit um, control and enter on the keyboard to execute the query. So you can see it says press control plus enter to execute the query. And I just executed the query. Now I have uh, the database created already. You can see that I have my database created. So the next thing I'm going to do here is uh, go back to the index file and then hit F5 on the keyboard to refresh. So you can see that we get no error message on the screen again. And since we're not getting an error message on the screen, it means we just successfully created our database. And uh, let's make a couple of um, changes here. So in the index file, uh, I'm gonna create a paragraph here that tells the user that they are connected to the database. So, So you are now connected to the database and that should solve the problem. So we get the message on the screen that tells us that we are now connected to the database. If you don't see this message, it means you are having um, a problem on your screen. So maybe uh, the database you're trying to access is not correct or maybe the username or your password is not correct. So I just changed my password and you can see I get an exception here on the screen, which is nice. and. I'm good and we can also try to format the exceptions by uh, so let's um, cut this line of code and PHP here start PHP here and then use the pre tag and then paste the exception just in it uh, but don't forget to start and end PHP like I did so, so this is gonna help us uh, it'll help us solve the, the problem to help us format our code properly so we can uh, 
um, see the error message just look good. So you can now see that I just formatted this error message and you can see uh, I have the message here at the top and then the other information is about the messages here on the screen. So uh, if we have everything fine, our database name is correct, everything is correct, uh, we should get no error message on screen at all. So we are connected to the database. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, and stay safe.